Another cool morning, a little breezy. Eight degrees. I have the nukes back closer to a place at home here. Parked them in beside a bee yard that I originally had just up on the escarpment on the hill right behind the yard. Put them all away from home. Nice little calm spot. Wheat's been harvested. Not gonna bother anybody here. And we have a little bit of feed on the colonies. These are the nukes that we need to bulk up a little bit more. The last ones, so we have a pail of feed on top of them. We also set out a bunch of totes. We have six totes set out just to, you know, drop a whole pile of syrup into these nests. At eight degrees, these girls are working. In a nice and orderly fashion. So nice to see. This time of year, we're starting to lose some of that massive summer field force, so there isn't the glut of bees to drop into these totes and fight, 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 and drown. So it works a lot, you know, not, it's not as quick. This time of year, you lose that field force and it takes a lot longer to take that syrup down, but a lot more orderly, so you have a lot less loss. Look at the activity. Beautiful Sunday morning. I'm here making a round on all the hives are on the outskirts of the apiary with the we uh, fed them two and a half gallon pails. And I just want to shift the pails around so the ones that are done and the ones that aren't taking any more syrup. I want to shift the pails around so we finish up these pails and the ones that need the syrup can get it. So these pails are done. And nothing left in these pails. This one, they're still feeding on it. I'll just leave that on. But they're slowing down. That one's done. That one's done. Might have to actually put more feed. That one's done. This one probably isn't. They're not taking it fast enough to uh, clean up the drip. So I'm just going to shift this one over onto that hive so they can finish that pail. And I'm going to cork those guys and they will be ready for winter, I'm expecting. So this one's done. This one's not. You can see the robbing on the outside of the pail. They're not finishing up the drip. They must be full. So that is what I'm doing today. I'm just making a quick round, shifting pails. Then we'll come back later in the week and pick up all the empty pails. And maybe as we approach October, as we get into October, maybe we might give them just a little bit more, just a splash, maybe give them a gallon, you know, put half a gallon in a gallon pail, just to freshen up the nest a little bit. Take advantage of any nice weather that might come in October. Yeah, these girls are finishing up. How heavy is that pallet? I gotta come around and I gotta weigh the hives just to see where they're at. Oh boy! They're heavy, so I can tell you that those hives are fed up for winter. Here's two that obviously, well that one's done. This one, shifting on to this one. Extremely encouraging to see pails that have been consumed. Hives that take down the feed are probably good looking hives. Just one more of those cues, right? Those guys are still on it a little bit. Dun, dun, 
been done. Oop, not this guy. That's what's called shifting pails. Beekeepers will go around the apiary, shift them around so then we can bring back empty pails. This allows us to pull the unneeded feed on colonies that, that are full and provide it to the colonies that probably could use a little bit more. Fun fun. Beautiful. Box of bees, very well organized. Not so happy that I'm doing this. A box full of bees. Looks very nice. It's basically what I'm seeing. Lots of consistency. I like to see the consistency. I'm seeing boxes of bees. <clears throat> I'm seeing hives, maybe a little bit smaller, size of a basketball. Seeing very well defined clusters. Colonies are hefting nice and heavy. So I think things are ready.